What's going on guys? Uh, Wind Model 88 here. Back at you. Uh, for another little gun review here. Another little out back tabletop review out here on the back porch. A little cooler today here in central PA. Uh, but there's another four, four day stretch of heat coming, which will suck. It'll suck ass because I don't like Amazonian weather. No need for 90% humidity and 95 degrees in Pennsylvania. That's total fucking bullshit, but the snow will soon be flying and I'll be happy. So we'll deal with it, I guess. It's nice and it's like high, low 80s today. Humidity still kind of uh, sticky and disgusting, but we're here for a gun review. So as you see in front of me here on the, uh, the Tipton Gun Butler. Uh, is my newest addition, my newest gun, my newest rifle. Oh man, I don't, you guys know me, I don't really get super excited about brand new guns like I do old stuff. Um, frankly, just because I don't trust new rifles or new guns as much as I trust old stuff. It's just the fact of the matter. Old shit's just more reliable, it's proven. Um, it's by far, by far made better. Uh, nobody can argue that. Uh, if you argue that, you're just you're just a cuck uh, and a shill for new new junk. But what I have here is one of my favorite companies. We'll get the gun butler out of the way. This here is the Rossi. See there, Rossi RS 22M. It is a semi automatic 22 Magnum. It is an OD green. Picked this up at my local shop Friday. I went in on a, on a spur of the moment thing. I was just looking for a gun. Didn't really know what I was in. You know, I didn't. I walked in not knowing, you know, exactly what I wanted. Um, I knew I wanted a gun. And that was about it. I wasn't sure what I was going to get. But I did not have a 22 Magnum semi-auto. So we ended up getting this. Again, it's the Rossi RS-22M uh, semi-auto, 22 Magnum, 10 round mag, which I have that in my pocket here. Let me get her out. Very well constructed magazine. There's the mag. Um, set this down here quick. Now this gun, I picked it up, uh, he had it on the, on the shelf for three and a quarter, but let me move my camera down a little bit. I say, yeah, yeah, they're on the shelf for three and a quarter, brand new, out the door. Uh, but you know, I'm, I'm talking, I didn't really talk him down. I showed him a place where I could get it a little less. Um, another local shop that had it for less and the sort of haggle I don't I don't usually like to haggle but um stuff like this you know if I know they'll they'll try to match it I'll I'll try to uh, you know see if they'll match it so he did and I bought the gun I would have bought it anyway but if I can get the same price as another shop I will and he did he matched it so shout out to them now, like I said, this is the RS-22M, uh, Rossi, Rossi Braztec. Um, they're out of Bainbridge, Georgia here, uh, but they are made in Brazil, imported from Brazil to Georgia. Uh, Rossi's no joke. Rossi's made some good shit over the years. They've been around for a long, long time. Actually, Rossi's been around since 1889, so... 
anybody who shits on Rossi has either had a few bad experiences with them or they just really don't know anything about Rossi. That's just the facts because they're not a bad company at all. Um, this is the 22 Magnum semi-auto. It is a 21 inch. 21 inch free float free floating barrel as you can see there's a space right there it moves this free floating and this barrel is quite possibly the heaviest barrel I've ever seen on a rim fire that sucker is thick that is a thick barrel and it's heavy too. I mean, of course it's uh, it's polymer, uh, polymer synthetic stock, whatever. Um, oh, this is polymer. I said is the OD green. He had it in black or OD green. He had the black one on display. And I'm just quite frankly, I'm burnt out. I'm sick and tired of black guns. Uh, it is what it is. They're just they're boring to me. I have so many black guns, I'm getting tired of looking at them. Um, and this is the only factory OD green gun I have now. I did paint that high point carbine myself. OD green, but I just, I went with the OD green in this. Looks a lot nicer. It is what it is. Um, like I said, uh, it's, it's polymer synthetic stock all around. Has the, uh, the etching there. The uh, knurled indentation, whatever the fuck you want to call that. I hate to call it etching on plastic because I only think etching is suitable on wood, but I guess that is an etching if you want to call it etching on plastic. Um, nonetheless, uh, cross bolt, cross bolt safety. It does have a blued barrel. And a blued receiver and I did take this gun apart and clean the shipping oil out of it because for those that don't know well, one I like to clean brand new guns anyway just to get the junk out of them and two the oil they put inside of these to ship them is just for shipping it is not a lubricant type of oil meant to coat the components of the gun I don't know if you guys knew that or not some of you I'm sure did but the uh, the oil they put in this to ship is not meant for lubrication of components. It's just meant for shipping. Get that junk out of there when you get your new rifles or new guns, whatever. Clean it. Put lubricating oil in there. It's meant for the gun. For the internal parts, uh, your gun will thank you. And so will um, your, your accuracy and your reliability will thank you too. This does make a difference. That stuff gets really gummy and gunks up, and it's not for uh, protecting your internal components of your gun. Uh, total length on this is 39 and a quarter inches from buttstock to a muzzle, 39 and a quarter inches. The, the gun weighs 5.6 pounds total, you know, 5.6. It's a little less than uh, five and a half pounds. Uh, it'll be probably right around five and a half pounds, you know, when the mag, with a loaded mag in. I'm so five and a half pounds with a loaded mag. Probably a little higher than that with a scope on it, I'm sure. Obviously, it will be. Um, now, Rossi calls this trigger an adjustable performance trigger, which I have, me and Kyle, my buddy up the road, we put... I we put 30 rounds through this the other day, 25, 30 rounds through it. And I didn't get a chance to zero it yet. I did uh, I did bore sight it, and we were shooting it at 25. It was, you know, on one of those little uh, plastic, st or the uh, sticker targets you get, like the four inches. It was, it was hitting, you know, on the four inch sticker. So, I mean, it's close. I just didn't get a chance to sight it in yet. You know, at 50, 75, and 100 like I like to. Um, now, they offer this gun 
the the RS model, the semi-auto uh, models. They offer them 22 long rifle, 22 mag like this, and of course a 17 HMR. Um, they have colors that are available, of course, in the black, the OD green like this is, uh, the tan, the desert tan, and the gray, like the slate gray color. Um, like I said, that shop that I got this only had this OD green and a black. And I'm getting sick of looking at black guns. They're boring. So I'm with the OD green. Uh, it comes with one, uh, one 10 round detachable mag. It's a really nice mag too. It's really nice to load because you got the old thing, uh, the thumb assist here. You can pull down on that really without, you know, much force at all. So you pull down on that as you feed your feed your rounds in. You know, it assists you on your way down. It's a really nice made mag. Um, that's it. It's, it's plastic, you know, polymer or whatever, but it feels like it's, it's solid. You know, it's uh, what six screws. Nothing special, but it's a solid uh, solid mag nonetheless. Um, the coolest thing about this gun, when I took this apart, of course, before I got the scope or anything on it, um, actually, the other thing I want to say, this pick rail, they do come with a pick rail already. So that comes on the receiver already, ready to go for a red dot or a reticle scope, whatever you want. But that pick rail comes with it. So that was pretty sweet. Um, like I was saying, uh, if you take this apart, this screw here, take this screw out, take this screw out you know your plastic pulls up and out and you left your receiver and your barrel and everything else obviously but when I took this apart and cleaned all the packing oil out of it um this receiver uh, and the bolt uh, the receiver is either it's either a forged or a cast um receiver it is not aluminum because it had super super uh, strong magnetic uh, when I put my magnet to it I mean it, it stuck right so it's not aluminum you know it's a it's a good quality receiver um like I said I'm thinking I was really looking at over before I put the, uh, the normal gun oil in this after I cleaned the packing oil out of it and I did not see any uh, casting marks so I'm thinking this is probably it could still be a casted you know a, a cast receiver but I didn't see no casting marks. I'm thinking it's a forged receiver, you know. Um, the bolt is definitely, you know, one of the two. It's either forged or cast as well. So, I mean, it's got really solid internals. It's not a, it's not a cheaply made gun uh, for the price point. Like I said, I walked out of the door. Out to shop with this, you know, outdoors, three. Well, I bought... Uh, 50 round box of 22 long rifle and a 50 round box of 22 mags so i think with the gun box of 22 mags and the box of uh, 22 long rifle i was out the door it's 375 ish 370 something i think i gave him 400 bucks cash you know i got that 25 bucks or 20 25 something around there back so for 375, I was out the door with a brand new 22 mag semi-auto uh, box, a 50 round box of shells, or a box of 22 mags, and a box of uh, 22 long rifles. So, not a bad day, not a bad score. Um, of course, then I was looking. I thought I had another scope here laying around. I did have one, but it was shot, and so I put a red dot on this the first day. I didn't really care for it. So I went down to the old commie mart Saturday, the old Walmart, unfortunately. Because by the time I was free Saturday, I got this gun on a Friday. And about the time I was free Saturday, all the gun shops locally were closed. I didn't really want to wait till this week to get a scope on it. So I went down to Walmart and I found this Barska. Uh, this is a 3 to 9 by 32. I wanted a 40 on it. Uh, they didn't have any... They had, I mean, $160 Simmons, I think. I wasn't paying that. I I don't put super expensive scopes on any of my stuff besides, like, my hunting rifles. You know, I'm, uh, a couple of my other 
fun guns have really expensive scopes on them, but I just, I buy middle of the road scopes. They work for me and what I use them for. Target shooting, environment hunting, you know. This is a nice 39 by 32 Barska. Um, like I said, 32 mil reticle, or a lens. It's 39 power, obviously. Come with the scope cover, so. Oops, I bumped the scope or the camera, but I don't think it's, you know, it's, it's a solid, uh, solid setup. And, uh, of course, this does not come with any uh, iron sights on it. No bead, nothing. So an optic is necessary, which is great that they include the pick rail with it. So, well, uh, I shot, like I said, 30 rounds out of it. Well, so far, I love it. I mean, the gun is just, it's the smoothest shooting 22 mag I've ever shot. Now, once I get it, you know, zeroed at 100, we'll see. But, uh, let me see, show you guys here quick. It's kind of neat how this rocks in. Uh, it has that tiny little lip on it, like an AK mag. Sort of rocker up. That little lip, locker in place. And, uh, you know, send her home. Now, if you look here where my thumb is, that's the mag release. So I release your mag. Of course, I'm going to get this round out of here quick without knocking my camera over. But the cool thing is, this little nubby here, I can get you in frame here. I'm trying to work like sideways out here. But this thing here, of course, this is your mag release. This is your bolt hold open. So, what you do, you pull that in. Pull your charger handle back all the way, release this button, and bolt hold open. Uh, obviously, to close it, you pull back and let her go. This button does not close it, but that's your uh, that's your bolt hold open or your bolt catch, whatever you want to call it. Um, well, yeah, it's a it's a neat little gun, man. I'm I'm happy I found it. I do have. Uh, round in here quick close this but um that's what it looks like with a mag in it it's kind of neat looking <laughs> has a uh kind of like a mini ak look to it and like a middle m14 look kind of a sweet little gun hoping maybe this weekend i can get her get it sighted end at 100 um uh did come with uh Came with the oh the sling posts here. It did not come with the swivels. I had to get swivels for it. But there's one on the front, one on the back. I just gotta get swivels. I gotta get a sling for it yet. Um, the sling I was gonna use for it is way too big. I gotta get one fit to this, you know, a little smaller. But um, this is actually the third or fourth Rossi I own now. I have the uh, RS22. Uh, the semi-auto uh, 22 long rifle in black of course i have the uh my varmint gun which i have a couple hundred dollar uh, varmint scope on that it's illuminated plus i have a varmint light mounted on top of that scope um that is the rb 22m rossi which is the bolt action 22 magnum uh, that is my coyote gun that's a 20 i think that's a 21 or 22 inch barrel that thing is a tack driver um the semi auto 22 long rifle is pretty close to a tack driver and from what i've seen yesterday of this this is a tack driver it's going to be so shout out to rossi i know they're brazilian whatever they're imported guns but fuck man rossi's been doing this shit for what over 120 some years now you know they've been around since 1889 they know what they're doing um, I know them and Taurus had their problems or whatever. It is what it is. I don't, unless you know, unless you're going against the Second Amendment, not blatantly, 
like a full, like some of these other companies like Garbage Ass Ruger and Daniel Defense and all those. I'm not getting into that on this video, but I have nothing against Rossi. Like I said, my pap's has Rossi's, my dad has Rossi's. Yeah, I got, this is my third or fourth Rossi now I own. Um, even their pistols are nice too. Um, of course, Taurus does make Rossi's pistols now, but even Taurus has stepped up. So check them out, man. Check out Rossi. Uh, if you have one of these or a similar model uh, or any Rossi for that matter, semi-automatic bolt, semi-automatic or bolt or single shot, whatever, man, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, like I said, I'll we'll try to do a, uh, when I sight this in at 50, 75, and 100, I'll try to do a video. Uh, me and Kyle right now are actually rebuilding now we're in the process of rebuilding the shooting backstop up there where you've seen us shooting the uh i'm gonna do two videos up there i think we shot the mosin and the carcano up there we're redoing the backstop the uh, ak with the hollow points really tore the shit out of that <laughs> um so we're redoing it with railroad ties now and uh, two by sixes around the outside railroad ties in the middle so it'll be a nice be a nice backstop but Hopefully we get this up there, get some shooting videos done with it. I'll let you guys see the sighting in, let you see the new backstop. But this is the Rossi RS-22M, 22, 22 Magnum semi-auto with the Barska 3.9x32. Uh, Scope mounted on top of the factory pick rail. Um, like I said, guys, if you have any Rossi's, let me know down below. Like, comment, subscribe, um, share, whatever. If you don't like it, so be if you like it. Give me a thumbs up, comment. Uh, thank you everybody who continues to follow me and watch me. This is just most of the time it's going to be back, you know, back ports or desktop reviews for now. So I get uh, more time and a more convenient shooting area. Um, but this is what I am for right now. I'm going to be most of the desktop and give you guys knowledge rundown on what i have you know what i think of the guns um shout out to everybody who continues to follow me um you guys know who you are i don't gotta shout you out every time you guys know but take care let me know what you think of the rossies or if you have an rs model and uh until next time guys we'll uh maybe wednesday i'll actually get a little fishing uh, video on here for you uh me and my buddy son are going fishing. I'm going to take the young man out. I got off Wednesday, so see what happens, guys. But until next time, stay safe. Keep fighting for those things we call freedoms. You know, they're pretty important. Uh, just keep on keeping on, man. At the end of the day, we can only fight for us. We try to fight for other people, but when it comes down to it, we got to fight for us first and foremost, but that's it guys. One motto 88. We'll talk to you on the next one later on guys.